These are two of my citrus trees. One is a lemon, the other one's a lime. And the thing about them, growing them in a colder climate, I live in Kentucky, is that they always bloom in late fall, throughout the winter, into early spring, and then they stop. Well, there aren't any bees inside my house or flies or anything to pollinate them, which means that I get to become the bumblebee. And I wanted to show you how this is done. Sometimes I use Q-tips and sometimes I use paper towels, but the steps are pretty much the same. You can see there's a Q-tip laying there. There's probably Q-tips laying in other ones. But what you have to do, you have to wait until the flowers open. And the male flowers are the ones that provide the pollen. So you basically rub your Q-tips on to the flowers like so. I'm just rubbing it on there to collect the pollen. And then you find the the flowers that have like a, I can't remember what they're actually called right now. I think it's called a pedestal. Either way, there will be one flower that has just flowers on it and another one that has a thing sticking up. It'll be easier to show you on the other one. And that is what you have to apply the pollen to. I know this is hard to see on this video. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do this where you can see it and be educational, but also for me to get the work done. So I'm collecting the pollen, then I'm applying the pollen. Uh, you can't see the one that's under it. Then I'm applying the pollen. And of course, for me to hold this and do it, it's all not fun. This one's kind of a hard one to get to. So let me go to another one that's much easier just because it's more up front and center. So I got all these flowers over here. They're not opened up yet. The clusters always have male and female flowers. So the male is the one that has the pollen. We'll collect the pollen off of the male. You'll actually see this one you'll be able to see see it fell off of there but the pollen is still good so if the flower falls off just still go ahead and collect the pollen see all the pollen then there's going to be another flower that has this thing sticking up see how it looks different you want to put that pollen on the tip of that that's the female flower All I'm doing is just spreading pollen from the males over to the females. That pollinates the flower. Now when these other ones open up, I'll do the same thing. And let me kind of show you here. See all the pollen that's on there, all that yellow? That's basically what I have to do. Every time winter comes or, you know, late fall through winter time. Every time these flower, if I want to have lemons and limes, I have to hand pollinate them. You become the bumblebee. It's very simple to do. As long as you get it done, it's, it's really easy. So let me kind of do this again. Let me, since this fell off, I can actually pick this up and show it to you. So this fell off. This is a male flower. Notice it don't have that green thing sticking up in the center of it. Let's see if I can get this to focus a little bit better. Notice it don't have that green thing sticking up in the center of it. This one has that green thing sticking up in the center of it see it there that's where you apply the pollen since i got the flower i can just do it with the flower see that good and pollinated see this one good and pollinated now and that's what you basically have to do every time same way with this and over here I could probably actually take, I don't know if any of these still have, I don't really see any of the males that still have enough pollen on them for me to just take it off to pollinate the other ones. But either way, that's what you do. 
It'll work for both lemons and limes or pretty much any citrus. There's one right there that's fallen all it fell all the way down in there. Yeah, I mean, actually getting them off of this one is a little bit harder because they're smaller to begin with. But you can actually, that one fell off. This one over here I did a couple weeks ago. It's already been done, and they're pretty much drying up and falling off now, so I just forgot to record it. But anyways, that's how I do it. And then all my bananas <laughs> going crazy. The bananas always get really sad looking in the wintertime. Another banana over there. But citrus trees, when they bloom, collect the pollen, apply it to the females, you'll have fruit. That's really what I wanted to say. As always, thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.